The average salary in the US is $59,000, but we just had one trader make half of the average US salary in just three weeks. That's right, Joe is one of, if not the best trader that we have ever worked with at Lark Funding, receiving three payouts on our three stage challenge in three weeks, taking advantage of our weekly payout feature. And so in today's, we are going to break down exactly how Joe did it. We're going to take an inside look at his stats to show you guys exactly what is possible and kind of what's the framework needed in order to receive such massive, massive payouts. That being said, let's get right into it. First off, let's take a look at phase one of his three phase challenge because it is quite impressive. You can see here the max daily loss. Well, he didn't lose a single dollar. In fact, Joe here passed with just two trades that were both taken on the exact same day. So as we scroll through this, you're gonna to wanna to try and build up some similarities, build up you know, a bird's eye view of what his actual strategy is. We would love to do an interview with Joe. We're going to ask him, so stay tuned for that. But this is going to give you a great insight. First off, NDX 100. Both trades were taken on NDX 100. The open price was rather close to each other, so this is pretty much the exact same trade. They were indeed opened just roughly 30 40 minutes apart from each other. But you can see here, amazing equity curve and no problem there. We're gonna see as we continue on what his actual win rate is. Moving on to phase two of the challenge, you can see that it was actually a little bit more difficult for Joe. It actually got a little bit more rocky. Here, he had a loss going all the way down to 99,244, his equity. So of course, not a big deal at all. We're talking less than a 1% drop, but again, it goes to show a little bit of resilience, how it continued on and he hit the 4% profit target. This took quite a few more trades for Joe to pass. However, being a total of roughly 20, again, it looks like he completely Combined position, so it might not have been 20 trade, NDX 100, and gold. So again, we have seen this so much with some of our best funded traders, the traders that have received the largest payouts. They're not trading everything. They're focusing on one, two, maybe three pairs. They are mastering these pairs. So if there's one takeaway from this video, it should be that. That is really, really a common theme that we see with the most profitable traders. In terms of win rates, he did take way more trades, but the win rate was still massively impressive and 92.86%. The average risk to reward ratio, 12.89, absolutely massive. Again, it's not a huge sample size, so that's most likely going to drop as we continue on. The most trades that were taken were indeed on the funded account. But of all that to say, even with a small sample size, absolutely incredible, incredible numbers. Moving on to phase three of the three phase program, which of course is the easiest. It goes 5%, 4%, 3% in terms of profit target. It looks like this one was super easy for Joe, very straightforward. Uh, he just hit that 3% target in no time at all. If we look at the win rate, 100% once again, no risk to award ratio. He took six slots on NDX 100. So six slots. He has a decent, uh, a decent position size. It's pretty large for a 100K account. His open time was 2100 and he closed it at 22. So he held it for just under two hours, which we do see roughly with some of the best traders. We don't see a ton of swing traders that are holding trades for days upon days to make the most money. It's really the traders get, that get into the market and get out. They don't let things ride too much. Not scalpers. It's really the sweet spot in between you know, scalpers, swing traders, really those intraday traders that we see the most success. All that being said, let's get to the good part. Let's get to the juicy part where we get to see Joe's funded account, the trades that he took and the payouts that he actually received. So as we can see here, his equity curve, it is a lot more, not rocky because these drops that we're seeing here are from his payout. So first off, moving our way up to the first payout, which was his largest, incredible equity curve, very, very minor drops, making it all the way up to $125,697. So Joe made 25% here, and it was November 11th, starting on, sorry, it was October 11th, and he started on, uh, I can't even see here, it was the 30th and it was roughly two weeks. The first payout on our three stage challenge is two weeks. So that's how long he was trading it. Really the only significant drop, not even significant, is this little drop that we saw here from 123,000 down to, you know, 119,000. So $4,000, just under 4%. And that is when Joe requested his very first payout, which is this drop in the equity curve that we see here. No, Joe did not go full margin and gamble and lose tons of his gains. This is simply 
from a withdrawal. And we can see the very first withdrawal here, $18,000 on October 12th. This alone is massive. It is roughly a third of the average US salary. That would take four months to earn, but Joe did it in just two weeks, which is absolutely insane. This is the largest payout that we have ever processed as a single payout, a single one-time payout. So it was also a milestone for us. We were very, very happy to process it for Joe. And, you know, we can maybe put a timestamp or a photo. I think we did do it in less than 24 hours. So that was really a good milestone for us. And even more importantly, a very great milestone for Joe. After receiving that payout, Joe did not get greedy. He continued to trade the account. We can see that he grew it from $105,000 $700. So he had roughly $5,700 of profit still in his account. And he grew it all the way back up to $114,000, at which point he requested his second payout for a beautiful $8,100. And that was just a week later. So most people, most traders would go crazy. $18,000 in the bank, October 12th. Then he requested just a week later, $8,100. And the way that this fell was Joe was requesting payouts on Friday. So not a bad way to spend the weekend. Joe would then continue to trading the account. It was at $105,000 once again. And then he brought it up another $7,000 where he requested his third payout of $6,561.90 one week later on October 26, 2023. So absolutely amazing. This is roughly half of the average US salary in just three weeks alone and really goes to show the potential that trading offers. And of course, our three phase program. When we first launched it on face value, traders think ah, two phases it's hard enough to pass. Why would I ever take a three phase? But if you take just 30 seconds to look at the program, you will quickly see the value in it. Weekly payouts, no time limits, no daily loss limit. Those who have 75% reset discount codes, our surrender account feature is really, really innovative. And on top of that, the pricing is phenomenal. $100,000 account without any promo codes is $370. So definitely check that out. And Joe is a testament for what is possible. But aside from just the payouts. So let's look a little bit more at the stats because this was traded for several weeks. We have a large enough sample size. This is really what's going to give you a great framework and a great ballpark or meter for what is possible and what you should maybe be aiming for. A lot of traders think that oh, you need a 90% win rate. You need a five to one risk to reward ratio in order to make any money. Let's see if that's actually the case. Joe's average loss was $383, whereas his average win was $235. Now, this is a huge shift from what we saw in phase two, where his RR was 13 or 15 or whatever it was. It's actually less than one. Many traders will think that this is not profitable long term, but one of the most game changing things that I learned on my trading journey was that there is an inverse correlation between your win rate and your average risk to reward. If you want to win a ton of trades, the risk to reward is going to be very small. If you want to have huge winners, your win rate is going to be very small. And this is perfectly reflected in Joe's statistics. So you can see his RR is very small, 0.61, but he wins a ton of trades. And so you really want to manipulate this formula to work to your advantage. If you are a very emotional trader, this is kind of the category that I fell into. I didn't like taking losses. So I much prefer taking small wins, but taking them much more frequently because then I didn't really need to deal with the losses. But if you're somebody that is okay winning, you know, two out of 10 trades, but each of those two wins are huge, then that kind of flips the equation for you and you can you know, work that way with a much higher RR. And so that's what we see here. Win rate of 82.69%, but a small RR. And that is also reflected in his average win being $235 versus a larger average loss. His profit factor was 3.0 and his total lots traded on $100,000 account was 5.60. So Joe was indeed taking a large position sizes. He wasn't, you know, taking really small ones. He wasn't gambling, but you know, in terms of the scale, it's kind of a spectrum. He was definitely on the higher end of things. Let's take a look at some of his actual trades here. What was interesting for us was that Joe did trade some pairs that he didn't trade during the evaluation phase. Now, this isn't uncommon. He passed most of the phases in a single day, so there just wasn't perhaps opportunities on other pairs, but it is something that's noteworthy uh, to take a look at. So here we have trades on US yen, Euro, US, and let's see, we have quite a few pages. Uh, NDX 100, which is what we saw. So it looks like the vast majority of trades that were taken were indeed on NDX 100. Just as we quickly scroll through, are there any trades on gold? No, literally everything was on NDX 100. And if we just grab a random couple of trades here, 
see the open time was at 10 11 close time was at uh, 14 39 so we're talking you know roughly a four hour trade if we look down here 16 37 that was a minute profit 138 dollars so you can see you know every once in a while we're getting very small wins but then a large a large win you know followed by a large win 11 hundred dollars here 1800 but then you know a bunch of little ones those little ones really add up though a lot of traders don't get excited at 100 200 dollars again those add up you get to keep between 75 and 90 percent of those so all that to say really phenomenal trading joe is by far one of the best traders we have ever worked with he has withdrawn half of the average u.s salary in three weeks alone that is absolutely incredible and it's something that i think you should always keep in the back of your mind especially when trading gets difficult this is a testament for what is possible all that being said check out our three-stage program because it has all of those amazing features that i did mention let us know what you would like to see in the next video if you made it this far of course thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one and until then peace